Yeah, people start to go and hope all is well. Today, back on Motorsport Manager with the McLaren Manager Carimo series here, where we have been struggling. Now, we've done a few races since I last saw you. We last saw you in Cape Town, South Africa. And since then, we had a race in Vancouver, uh, which was going absolutely fantastically up until the end. Uh, of course, uh, Landon Norris was injured, so uh, Patricio, is it? Patricio Award was driving for him. Uh, and Daniel Ricciardo was up in P6. There was some rain in uh, Canada. Daniel Ricciardo was up in P6. And all of a sudden, with like five laps left to go, he ended up crashing out, meaning we still had no points. Then was Silverstone. Lando Norris came back. He crashed out. Daniel Ricciardo finished 16th. Lando Norris in his first race back crashed out. Munich, Norris crashed out again. Back-to-back -back races, uh, uh, Ricardo finished 14, so Ricardo's actually doing better than Lando Norris as of late. Then we have Ardennes in Belgium. Uh, Daniel Ricardo crashed, finishing 20th. Lando Norris actually also crashed out, finishing 23rd. So it's been a miserable time for the McLaren brand. Today we have Milan. We'll probably do a couple off camera. Uh, the reason I'm doing some races off camera because right now, as you can see, I mean, we're ending like in the bottom half. We're getting no points anyway. There's no point spending a whole episode getting no points. So we're slowly improving our car, trying to improve our resources. We have 24 million in the budget right now. Uh, so maybe we'll have a look at trying to improve some of our uh, HQ facilities as well. And uh, try try to do better like i say so far we're down in p10 in the constructors with six points we'll see if we can get any points here today in milan link in the description as we load into milan practice we also stream every monday thursday friday and sunday over on twitch.tv forward slash screens get 26 uh, the link is right down there. Just click the link. It'll take you straight there. Give us a cheeky follow. Uh, we're doing a Regents Racing. My team right now, uh, or create a team, I guess you could call it, where we started in F3. Um, if blue softs. We started in F3, and we're currently in F2. We actually uh, won F3, got promoted. Uh, it's been hectic. There's been a bunch of drivers uh, that we've signed and let go and changed around. We signed Jono Otmer for half a season. You may know him as like the esports driver. Uh, we've had some old drivers, some young drivers, some new jet. It's been absolutely awesome. Everyone's loving it. I love this game still, uh, which is why we're still making this series on it. I absolutely love this game. I can't wait for the F1 manager to come out as well. Uh, I, I I love games like this. I really, really do. Um, so, yeah. I, I mean, thoroughly enjoying it. And hopefully you guys are too. You seem to be enjoying the series, which is lovely. Um, and hopefully we can just get some points on the board for McLaren. It's been so, so bad so far. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just hoping we can, we can just get some points, man. Right. Soft and race trim level three done. Bring the drivers in. Lando Norris has been really disappointing. Since coming back, I thought he was going to come back and, and, and start hopefully doing amazing for us. But, um, I mean, crashing out of, of, of the last, like, three of his last four or five races, he's been terrible. We're slowly improving our car, trying to improve our parts as much as possible. Um, but it's so, so painful, you know? It is really nice having, like, a real series, like McLaren, obviously, like, real drivers, a real team. And then on Twitch, having the, the, the create a club save, you know, so we get to live best of both worlds. I get to be the team that I support and also have a, a, a created team that uh, regents racing that everyone over on Twitch loves. So it's so nice having two separate things. I really, really do recommend go follow us on Twitch. We have so much fun there on the live streams. Level three, we have six minutes. I mean, we can only pick two. We're going to do soft and super soft. There's no point doing anything else. So we can actually save some tires, just bring them in for the last five minutes and get on to qualifying. Right, qualifying. Uh, it's looking sunny. Going to go qualifying trim and super soft. Of course, you want the softest tire possible for qualifying because you want as much pace as possible. Uh, again, it's looking dry, so we're going to actually skip a bit of it. So we can hopefully get that medium track grip because, of course, the better grip you get, the faster you are. Landon Norris had a good qualifying in Ardennes, I think it was last race in Belgium, um, where he got through to Q3, I think he actually got through to, uh, with some help thanks to rain and stuff like that, but he actually had a good qualifying for us. Normally, we go out in Q1 each and every time. Right, we're going to send Ricardo out now on the Super Softs. 
Will that get up to high before we can send Lando? Uh, actually, I'm going to send him out now because I don't want him to get caught in too much traffic. So Lando can go out now. Both drivers out for their lap because on his out lap, look, now it's just uh, a couple of people out. Everyone else in the pits, which is what I want. I don't want him to get caught in traffic in his lap. Ricardo comes at 19th in qualifying one as Lando Norris starts his lap. Oh, no, that was his lap. P18. And he goes off. Oh, my God. Well, that's the only problem. We've only done one, one lap. If you do a bad lap, now we don't have any time to do another one. So, 18 and 21 is what we get. Another race not making it through to Q2. Drivers are good. The drivers are both like four and a half star. We have like uh, on the list, our drivers are like fourth best or something like that. They're good drivers. It's just, it's the car. You know, our hedge queue is okay. Our staff and our pit crew are okay. Our sponsors are good. It's just our car is not up to scratch this year. I'm hoping we can get some money and build a better car, build a challenging car uh, for next season because this is just dreadful. They stay then. I don't think there's going to be a lot of change as to what we've been used to recently. I'm going to split the two strategies. Ricardo's going to start on the soft tyre. And Lando Norris on super softs just to see... I mean, if they, if they can have a different strategy, I guess. 18 and 21st. I really, really, really can't wait for next season. I want to get to next season already just so hopefully we can build a better car. Five lights on here in Italy. Some people on the mediums. Lights out and away we go. Lando Norris down there on the super softs. Ricardo actually overtook him straight away. Had a better start. Up into P16. Now up to P15. On the slower tyre, Lando Norris fell all the way to the back. I don't know what's happened with Norris. He's had such a bad season and such a bad return after coming back from injury as well. It's not been fun to watch. That's my favorite. I mean, I love Ricardo as well. I want both of them to do well. But right now, Ricardo's deserving all the new parts. And Lando, any rain forecast for today? Doesn't look like it. Just a couple points would do. I mean, Porsche actually overtake us right now. And if you finish last in the constructors, you get demoted. If I see McLaren in F2 next year, um, you best believe I'm deleting this game. With one overtake, gets in front of Magnussen down the main straight. Don't think he's going to keep it, though. Don't think he's going to keep it. He gets past both of them, but he has to turn his fuel to low now. His tyres aren't looking great either. He keeps ahead of Magnussen behind Schumacher. I think they're going to keep going vice versa. Stroll with a drive through. His form right now is at a 10.0. Norris on 8.6. You'd think we're driving amazingly, but we're not. He made another crash. Oh, my God. It's just, he got another puncture. Oh, my God. Lando Norris. Go on. So I should have given this soft bonus. You have to fix your rear wing as well. That's not going to last. And he has a drive-through penalty. What's even the... Can we just retire the car? Can we? This is why I've done so many races off camera. Can we just retire the damn car? He still has a drive-through as well. Oh, my God. Yeah, Lando. I, uh, he's under a long contract here. So, I mean, that's not the car. That's him driving. That's all down to him driving. Right, 36 laps left. Go back onto softs. And go to the end, lads. Ay, 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 ay. I look so forward to this series. And then I come on and remember how bad McLaren really are. You know, I look so forward to it because I love this game and I love McLaren. And I wanted to see them win races. But no one in front of Ricardo has pit yet. The top 18 drivers haven't pit after 23 laps. Verstappen's behind Ricardo. I was just going to say a safety car would be good right now. But now that Max is catching him, if he gets overtaken, there's no point in the safety car. So Russell has damage. Ricardo actually makes an overtake. Surprisingly. Gasly, another issue. Don't know why these guys aren't pitting. All the guys that started on mediums are doing pretty well. Vettel retired. Mechanical issue. Hamilton issue. Mercedes not looking great right now. A lot of people having issues. Blue flag out for Ricardo. Max overtakes him. Magnussen has issues as well. Norris going to end on the super softs. He has the boot bonus. It doesn't matter at all. Uh, Ricardo's even overtook him as well now. Fighting against Latifi. And it looks like Latifi is going to overtake us. I wish there was a choice to just retire the cars. I really do. Audi on no points. Luckily, we're on six points. Ferrari and Red Bull and Mercedes. That's such a big battle in the top three. One point in the top three teams. 
That's incredible to see. Six laps left. Ricardo's on 15%. Oh, and his engine's in the red zone as well. I mean, it goes from bad to worse, really, doesn't it? But, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if his tires just went. Not a bad result. Well done, everyone. I don't want to drive this car anymore. I'm not surprised. We might have to give Ricardo the better pass. P15 and P19. Back of the office. A lot of work to do. Rick Hard TG just followed us on Twitch. Again, link in the description. Go follow us. Maybe your name can pop up in a YouTube video as well. Love when that happens. <laughs> I mean, look, our drivers are fourth best. Fourth best, sixth best, second best, fifth best. Car, 11th best. When do we get a new part? 11 days? Just after Singapore. God damn it. London is giving a penalty for causing a collision. Lando's the top driver. Get his morale up. It's still zero. Well, never mind. New sponsors. Because our marketability is not even five star, we're only getting four star sponsors right now. Upfront payment of seven mil or fixed of 500k. But we had to get like nine and a half more from that over at the long course. So we'll go for the fixed. And hopefully just try and improve our car. That's all we have to do is just to improve our car, you know. I want to end this season already. Singapore next. I'll tell you what, it's only been 20 minutes. and edit down this video. will be very short. We're going to do two races in one episode today. And Daniel Ricciardo is going to get all of the better parts today. Because, quite frankly, he's deserved it. So the gearbox, Ricciardo has the better one. I mean, he's London does new one. Why not? He deserves it. He deserves it. Let's do it. Two races in one episode. Right, we've got race trim level three. Let's send them up for qualifying trim as well, just so we have extra pace for qualifying on those ultra soft tires. 14 and 15 right now. See, they look decent, but that's not going to be there for the race pace or for qualifying. Also, everyone else is on medium, so maybe we should have got some medium knowledge. But we're going for softs and ultra, uh, super softs and ultra softs. We get level two for medium. One minute left, but don't think we're going to quite reach the level three. No, we get about two and a half, so. I don't see as much point using a level 2 medium instead of level 3 for one of the softer tyres. You get a 15% boost, of course. Can we at least have one driver through to Q2? You know, ultra softs qualifying. Can we at least have one driver through to qualifying 2? That's why the first race was so short. Right, I tell you what, Ricardo, go out straight away. I know it's low grip, but he's out there alone. Oh, no, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Let, get, get away from him, get away from him. Be in your own space, Ricardo, be in your own space. Right, you're starting your flying lap now. Lando, go out for your out lap. Just behind your teammate. Ricardo on his flying lap now. Six tenths slower already. Nine... Ay, ay, ay. And he comes in. Well, I mean, obviously, he's going to be P1 for now. But he's going to start dwindling down. Almost two seconds off Max Verstappen. Almost two seconds. We'll go out one more with good grip. Right, everyone's going to the pits. Let's go out for one more. On a fresh set. See what you could do, boys, eh? See what you could do. Go out together. Give Norris a tow. Maybe he'll be faster in your slipstream. Oh, there's another car getting involved as well. They start their flying lap. Performance at 2.3 for Lando Norris. Yeah, nice. Ricardo's on the cusp of being eliminated. He goes up to P13 with that. Lando Norris, 23. Hey, Ricardo's the number one driver. I, I, I can't lie. I know he's better pass this time, but Norris is a better pass. He's still not done anything with it. Ricardo's the number one driver, and he's actually through as well to qualifying to P14 for, for Ricardo. That's massive. Don't think he's going to get Q3, but that's massive for us. Lando Norris. Oh, I love you, mate, but Jesus Christ, you're not giving me a lot to love right now. Right, Ricardo, same again. Go out. Actually, no, no point going out first because you had a stinky lap last time, so we'll wait for the grip. Grip is still medium. We can wait for high grip. Well, it's on high now. Everyone's on the out lap, though. We'll wait for people to finish their lap. So they'll be going around slow. Everyone's on the in lap. Let's go out. On ultra softs. We have one spare set now. Daniel Ricciardo starts his flying lap. Six tenths down. Minute, uh, minute, second and a half down. Two seconds down. P15 is all he can muster up. Right, we're going to start the race with... Mm, we're going to start the race on softs, I think. So fresh set of ultra softs. Go out one more lap, lad. One more lap. I don't mind using all of our ultras. Last lap to try get into the top 10 here. Daniel, Ricardo, for McLaren. To where he finished last race, I mean, it's better than, you know, starting 23rd, I guess. And yet again, ladies and gentlemen, it's race day. 
Race trim and super softs. Lando Norris has spare ultra softs, so he can... Oh, should we just give him super softs as well? Because realistically, it's 77 laps here. You could do two laps on super softs. Is he going to be on the ultra softs for long? Nah, we're going to do we're going to do super softs for both. I think super softs the way to go. I think super softs is the way to go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go racing. Yes, yeah, see, Carlos signs nose. Here at Singapore, that friends a dangerous area. Lights on away we go. Can Regardo go up to a nice start here? On these super softs. Lando Norris back way at the back. Just any sort of points would be big. Even if it's a P10. Any sort of points would be big. But based on this start, I think it's going to be more the same for Team McLaren. Stuck in P16. Norris up to P18. After lap one. Ricardo 15, but the three drivers ahead are all on ultra softs. Meaning he's going to have to push a little bit to try to catch up to them. A lot of windy corners in Singapore. A lot of windy corners. Catches up to Joe Guan Yu, though. And can overtake him with overtake on. Wheel to wheel with Joe. Oh, he dies. King of the late breaks. Never mind. Oh, I think Joe did. Joe crashed there or lock up. He's back there with Norris now. P14 for Ricardo. Right, start to calm down on your tyres now a bit, lad. We don't want to push them too much. Right behind Lance, Stroll and Gasly. Good race so far. For Ricardo. Comfy in P14. Tires over here. No, you're fine, lad. You're fine, mate. You're fine. You're fine. How about this then? Rest your tyres a bit. Slap on overtake for a bit. To keep that pace up. The Stroll at the pit soon. Actually, a good question. He's on ultra soft, so you never know. He's definitely going to be pitting before us. We're going to conserve our tyres for a couple laps. Just so we don't overheat them and use them too quickly. We're actually keeping up with Stroll and he's on those ultra softs. 11 laps of the 77 done. Yuki Tsunoda on medium. Tyre. Pounding down the back of Daniel Ricciardo now as Stroll gets away a little bit. No rain obviously in Singapore. Couple second gap to Stroll now. No one's pit yet. New personal best. They're on conserve. And the same personal best, Alex Albon, pit onto mediums. He's saying personal best laps while he's like conserving his tyres. Lance Stroll pitch. One about 50% wear right now. Still trying to conserve the tyres just to cool them down a little bit. Ricardo cooled his tyres off a bit and now he's flying. New personal best lap for Danny R Ricardo. Gasly in the pits. See, but the tyres overheat so quickly here. They overheat so quickly. We're on neutral and they're overheating, you know? I think everyone's got to conserve their tyres. That's a better lap from Ricardo as well. He's lapping better. Overheat, bro, I know. But we're on, we're on back down. I don't know what you want from me. They only have about 11 to 13. 50 laps remaining. And these tyres only last... 38 to 40. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to calm down on the tyres a bit, lads. Calm down the tyres a bit. Save these as much as possible. So we can do super soft to super soft with that 15% boost. That's the goal. Oh, Yuki crashed. Well, a safety car would have been big, but there's no safety car. Just a yellow flag. Yuki crashes. That's good for us. Schumacher in the pits. Comes out ahead of Danny Rick still, though. On tyres. Yep, you're fine. 30%. But you're on back down. Just cool the tyres down. Cool the tyres down. One tyres. Yep, you're fine. Just listen to what I said. You're fine. We need to conserve these tyres as long as possible. So we can do super soft to super soft. But, uh, we're not... Mm, I wanted to go super soft, super soft. But we're just going to start getting slower and slower now, aren't we? Realistically. We're going to start getting slower. Right, push your tyres. Danny Rick, you're coming in. Onto a fresh set of super softs. We always risk it, baby. Love a risk. Danny Rick in first. Where's Lando? Oh, he's nowhere near him. Right, you can come in now as well. Ricardo has been overtaken now, though. Got to watch out for that. 40 laps remaining. Rain would be awesome, but there ain't going to be any. 15 and 21 right now. Gaining on Alonso. Going to use overtake on the main straight. Another crash. Yellow flag. Kind of glad that's no safety car, because that would have screwed us if that was a safety car. Use overtake down these main squiggly bits. And Daniel Ricciardo, nice cut down the inside. 
Lovely cut down the inside there. Right, calm down on the tyres a little bit. Because otherwise we're going to be in the same predicament where they overheat. Some people are putting on to ultra softs. Wow. We may have one ultra soft stint at the end. Depending on how much we push these tyres if they don't go all the way to the end. Because it did say we're going to fall a couple laps short. Right, cool down the tyres. As we're pushing off fuel, cool down the tyres. Ricardo setting some nice times right now for, for him. A late safety car would be amazing. To put under a safety car any time now to go back onto super softs to end. That would be fantastic. Everyone's pretty much on super softs right now. To end on super softs would be absolutely fantastic for us. Because I don't know how long these tires are going to go. Land on our spins. Ay, 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 ay. This race is done. Actually, I say, well, mm, we've been lapped. So a safety car wouldn't really help that much, actually. It would help the fact that our tires can go to the end, but it wouldn't help in terms of actually overtaking anyone. Ricardo up to P13. Overtaking Lance Stroll. Ricardo's definitely been our better driver this season. Uh, I mean, Lando Norris has more points than him, so... Oh, Russell and Schumacher issues. We're up to P12. Interesting all of a sudden, eh? Conserving your tires isn't actually a bad thing. They still get decent. I always thought conserve like you get terrible pace, but... He's not doing too bad, Ricardo. He's holding on to P12 while conserving pretty much the entire race. 15 laps to go. These have 18. He's, he's conserved them perfectly. We will be able to push a bit at the end. 21. Yeah, we're going to be able to push a bit at the end. See, I want to start pushing now. The the, the percentage is okay, but the, they, they overheat in Singapore so, so quickly is the problem. Magnussen in the pits. Are we going to overtake him? Ricardo. Oh, Magnussen comes out ahead of him. 13 and 14 right behind us now. Got to start watching behind you, lad. As Lance Stroll down the inside. Oh, Alonso, sorry. Ricardo again holding them off while conserving. Doing a massive defensive job here. Oh. Lando Norris collision. His suspension. Oh, he's going to have to pit, isn't he? Well, you might as well go ultra softs to end. Absolute idiot of a man. Lando Norris, another crash. He's going to get a penalty as well. No action taken. And Ricardo actually overtakes his teammate Norris. Norris not going to be happy with that one, but that's what you get for driving like an idiot. Oh, the blue flag's going to slow him down. Alonso pushing still. Norris behind Alonso. Ricardo's done so well to hold him off. I'd actually be happy with a P12. Oh my god. Alonso just hit into the back of Norris. Oh, he gets no penalty. He gets no penalty, but... Hey, Norris getting in the way, trying to help out Ricardo. Norris, can you not get in the way of Ricardo, please? That'd be great. Right, you can start to push a bit now. You can start to push a bit, Danny Rick. You've not been pushing all race. Start to push now, lad. For the last how many laps? Like three laps. Alonso catches. I feel like he drives slower when he's on push compared to when he's on conserve. And Ricardo starts his final lap. Massive drive from him. No points, obviously. But massive drive from him. P12, not a bad result. Lando, you have some explaining to, but not a bad result for him at all. Well, we'll continue to fix up our car. Uh, this episode, Cheeky 2 races in one. I thought, why not? Just to make it a bit longer. Um, next episode, we may go to the end of the season. And we may, next episode, maybe the end of season one. Uh, and pre-season into season two. Because right now, I don't see us getting any more points the rest of this season. Uh, but we shall see. I haven't heard two of you. Awesome. It's really good. And I'm signing out. Bye-bye for now. Much as always. Take care. And peace.